Jonathan Sanders, and this is my video application for the program at Tisch. As for my strengths and weaknesses as an actor, I really can't dance at all. I mean, I love musical theater, but in that aspect, it's really been holding me back. My strengths, however, my actor's training here at North Park has really taught me to be in the moment and be present on stage at all times, which I believe has really, really helped me as an actor. As for the program at Tisch that will help me with my training needs, North Park's a really, really small school. So, I haven't really been able to expand my breadth of knowledge in theater, other than the small program what we have here. Granted, I love it, but we don't have an improv troupe, we don't really do any musical theater, and I know the program at Tisch will be able to help me expand what I need to get, in those aspects at least. If I wasn't involved in theater, I'd definitely be writing. My majors right now are creative writing and theater. I'm a double major. And if I didn't have theater, I'd easily be cloistered away in the library all the time, writing either my short stories or my poetry or the novel that I'm currently working on. As for my extracurricular activities and my other interests, as I just said, I really like to write. But also, this year at North Park, I'm the working student ambassador, which means that I give all of the tours here on campus. Um, and I always have to be in the moment for things like that, just because I get the strangest questions from parents about the school, and I have to answer them somehow. Um, even though theater for me is an academic interest and it's been part of this application very obviously, um, that has to be one of my extracurriculars too, just because North Park is very solidly based within the storefront model, which means that even if you're an actor, you're working on sets, you're working on lights, you're working as a director, you're doing other things. Um, you have to be doing everything to work the storefront model. So. Theater is definitely one of my extracurriculars just because I have to work on every single aspect, technical and otherwise. Alright, so now we're going to go right into my monologues. I have two. The first one is from the Reduce Shakespeare Company, and it's Shakespeare's biography. I hope you've heard of it. The second one that I'm going to do is Kite by Reeves. I hope you enjoy them. Alright, uh, so I uh, made up some notes for the beginning of this audition for... Uh, ah. Well, okay, that's William Shakespeare. Well, um, oh, hey, William Shakespeare. Um, William Shakespeare was born in 1654 in the town of Stratford upon Avon, Warwickshire. The third of eight children, he was the eldest son to John Shakespeare, a locally prominent merchant, and Mary Arden, the daughter of a Roman. Catholic member of the landed gentry. Yeah. Um, in 1582, he married Anne Hathaway, a farmer's daughter. Farmer's daughter. Yeah. <clears throat> Shakespeare arrived in London in 1588, and by 1592, he achieved success as an actor and a playwright. However, by 1608, his dramatic production lessened, and it seemed that he spent more time in Stratford. It was there that he dictated to his secretary, Rudolf Hess, the work Mein Kampf, which set forth his program to the restoration of Germany to a more dominant, dominant position in Europe. Yeah. Okay, um... After reoccupying the Rhineland Zone, the remainder of Czechoslovakia, Shakespeare invaded Poland on September 1st, 1939. Hey, I never knew that before. Did, no... Okay. <laughs> Alright, um... Shakespeare remained in the city when the Russians entered Berlin on November the 1st, and he there committed suicide with his mistress, Ava Perone. He remains buried at the church at Stratford. Thank you. The morning after the first night that we made love, the note on your pillow said, Good morning, sparkle boy. I'll be back around noon. You make yourself at home. So I did. Maybe. I'm saying maybe I put on your slippers, which were as comfortable as bunnies, because they were bunnies. And then I shuffled across my new favorite hardwood floor to the bathroom, where maybe I took a bubble bath. Which isn't something that I can do at my place, because frankly, my tub is way too skanky to ever sit my bare ass down in. And then maybe I got so caught up in the romance of the suds that I started quoting old Latin poetry, like, Quandama fusere de tibi candies. You know. Verily the gods do favor me this morning, motherfucker! And then maybe, maybe, I played with myself. But it's not what you're thinking. I'm saying possibly, for 
just some reason, I stuck my hand up out of the water for some reason and went, you know, somebody got played last night, you, 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 <laughs> or whatever, okay? And then maybe I played with myself. And it's exactly what you're thinking. But if I did, it was only to put the mental motion picture of our naked night together on replay and on replay and replay. And yes, I was still wet when I borrowed your bathroom. And yes, I scared the birds off the balcony with my antics, dancing full blast to your old Prince CDs. But please, let's keep that my little secret because nothing is as private as a solitary dance unless maybe it's standing in front of a full length mirror in a borrowed pair of bunny slippers, slipping off a bathrobe and wishing to a light bulb that my name or my game or my whatever were bigger. Wondering what kind of woman would want this skinny kid for a warrior. So I made for you a kite, enormous, out of coat hangers, brown paper bags, and, and that masking tape from the drawer in your kitchen. And I hung it in your hallway where you couldn't hardly miss it. And I tagged that kite with my words. I wrote, just so you know, my weird mind wanders and my brave heart breaks. I've nailed a couple milestones, but I make mistakes, because I've got more faults than a map of California earthquakes. I'm taking a nap beneath your covers. Wake me if you like me. Wake me if you want me. Wake me if you need another poem. Your once and future lover has made himself at home. Whoa! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't.